Hello and welcome back to another installment of Pokey Fodder. And today was Solar Eclipse Day here in the United States. If you were somewhere that you could see a total solar eclipse, post any pictures you have, or if you saw it, tell me tell me what you saw. Can I head over to Discord? Do do that on Discord. Maybe Reddit. You could do it on Reddit. Oh, that's cool. I'm in Southern California, and honestly, if I didn't know that there was an eclipse going on, I, I, I would not have noticed anything about it. I think we had like 60% coverage. It really wasn't the least bit noticeable. Um, but being kind of a, a, a space junkie, I like things about space, and, and it fascinates me. And I wish, I wish Pokey Potter had stayed with math and gone into space something rather for a career because it really does fascinate me and i think it's i think it's so cool to think about how infinitely large the universe is and how we are so so tiny in our relevance to all of it yet when you're here things feel like a big deal because they impact you directly but on the the vast universal scale of life, if you will. It is it is so <laughs> like like we're not even a blip on anybody's radar. It's it's super fascinating to me to to think of how vast everything really is. So there you go. That's me kind of nerding out a little bit. What I want to talk about today, the gym ended. A really fast gym. And I'm not 100% sure. I feel like we should get an announcement about stat balances, rebalances, things of that nature sometime tonight. But I don't feel confident in that. Um, and then with, with maintenance being tomorrow is what I feel like we should have. I just don't know if that's actually going to happen. But what I didn't get to touch on last week because I was on vacation that I actually really enjoy and I think is a great step in the right direction. If we head over here to room matches and slowly but surely I'm gaining gold. These UC and lower games are a ton of fun. <laughs> I've already played my three games and gotten my 15 uh, Carmenites, but I still really enjoy playing these games. Um, it's more along the lines of what I kind of wish league matches were like in the fact that you can use a common or an uncommon, but you can put the evolution chains in there. So there's incentive, like trying to get evolutions, making Pokemon stronger. Um, you know, having not grown up with Pokemon lore, one of the benefits and things that people liked doing besides collecting the Pokemon were the evolutions and I feel like with league matches that aspect of the game is pretty much removed so here we go I'm gonna jump in to one of these there's no reward for me um, at the end of this but I like seeing what kind of decks people put together so we've got Aaron Geodude my Geodude I'm tempted to go back and complete my Geodude I'm tempted. He's at 8C level. He's already maxed out to 5. And I was looking at it, and I believe if I got him up to 40 and then made it level by, uh, level 10, I think it'd have a 40 spinner that was over half of its wheel or right at half of its wheel. Very appealing to me. My biggest hesitation with that is the fact that that um, once you go to Go Graveler and Golem, they're one MP Pokemon, and there's no real way to farm sea levels for them, which makes things a little difficult. Um, once you get past the Geodude, and maybe, Geo maybe Geodude with a 40 spinner doesn't need the evolution. He also has the 
three star self-destruct, which is gonna knock you out as well as your opponent. But that's not always the worst thing. Um, definitely gonna keep thinking about that one. That's that's one that is still on my radar. I really like Larvitar. I think Larvitar is a really nice, easy evolution. And then when you get up to, um, what's he got? He's got 50. So we're gonna have to go there. Once you get up to, if I can get up here to T-Tar, like 130 Earthquake, that's legit. Nobody's gonna, nobody's gonna be upset about that. Boom. So there he goes with his evolution, a 50 spinner. And I think, I don't remember exactly where the next one goes. But I am I'm gonna press the issue here a little bit. I, I could have attacked there, chose not to. He has a level 10 Shepard as well. Honestly, I think I wasted level 10-ing my Shepard. Oh, look at that. We're going to get a great, a nice little victory. If I had it to do again, I wouldn't level 10 my Shepard. Um, I did it just to make the Will-O-Wisp, and I was dying to use Carmenite on something. Um, that's why I did it. I don't think I would do, given the opportunity again, I don't think I would do it. I would rather have a um, another level on like Zapdos is what I'm currently working on. So another hard fought victory. I think there's some kind of reward at the end of the day in these, let's, let's go to details. Start the week at La Galleria Luna, UC or lower Pokemon matches are underway in the Silver Moon Hall. Achieve victory at Carmenite, we did that. So this is gonna go for one day. Okay, participation costs 25 energy. Consolation prize low EXP, victory prize up to first three wins, Carmenite. Okay. So it doesn't say what might be coming later down the week. I don't know. But they, these are a lot of fun for me. I enjoy them. Come over to Discord and tell me what deck you're using. Um, what did I see here? I kind of blew through this. Oh, you see her lower there too. That's interesting. And then gym style. I did like the gym styles as well. Interesting. So that's also called Silver Moon, I believe. If I look down there close enough. Um, but let me know. Take a picture of your common or uncommon deck. Put it up on Discord. Tag me in it so that I see it. And let me know, are you having success with it? What would you change about it? And do you like that added element of the game that wasn't there before? I do like it. I, you know, it, I, I feel like I could play more of these UC and lower games, and I, I might. They're fun. Um, of other news, I still need to, to win two more games. But in other news, I do not recommend doing this at all. This is extremely wasteful for resources. There's no significant benefit to doing it, but I did it just for show. <laughs> and that is, I made my Zapdos C level 10, and I'm gonna work on making it at least level nine. Level nine will move his miss, its miss down to four. And I don't know that you really need to go beyond that. Um, you could. But then what do you reduce? You reduce Steel Wing by one, or do you reduce Roost by one? I don't know that that is necessarily worth 100 Carmenite. I'm still interested to see how difficult Carmenite is to accrue moving forward. I feel like I've wasted a lot of it already, quite honestly. And um, I just hope that this doesn't become like EX cubes 
that I never see anymore. And if it does, I'm going to regret buffing up Shuppet. I will probably regret buffing up Vibrava, although I loved my Vibrava in the latest gym, so maybe not. But anyway, let me know. Come over to Discord. Let me know, are you saving your Carmenite? That's what I want to know first of all. I also want to know if you're using your Carmenite, where are you using your Carmenite? I saw a Deoxys attack form, of a snapshot of it, that had 140, I believe his attack is Psycho Boost, and level 10. I want to say that the, the Dimensional Slip was some ridiculously lo low number, like 27 maybe? Which is so low. <laughs> Like, that is just filthy. Um, but where are you spending your Carmenite if you're using it? Are you saving it? If so, what are you saving it for? And the last thing that I want to know, show me your uncommon or lower deck and let me know how successful you are with it. That's going to wrap up this really fast episode of Pokey Fodder. Not a whole lot to get into, but I did want to at least play one game for you and kind of go over some of the things that changed over the weekend. I also want to know about your solar clip experience if you were in the US and you were in the, the path line of the 100% blackout. Let me know because I'm very jealous of you guys. And until next time.